Hi, this is Patrick with Royce, and welcome to our multiplayer game series, where we will, over the next 11 episodes, create a library for Godot that'll teach you all the core concepts of making a multiplayer game. So first off, what we'll do is we'll make a networking manager that will teach you how to handle player connections and player disconnections and different player events like that. Then we'll jump into talking about RPCs and how to send them with authority and why you would want to send them with authority, what that even means. And then we'll teach you reliable and unreliable and when to choose between the two. Then we'll jump into object ownership. We'll talk about how to manage object ownership and when to, how to spawn objects across the network, handle everything like that. Then we'll go into how to split your code between server and client. That way, the server will have all the checks and everything, and then the client will just accept whatever the server tells it. That way, you can make sure your games are secure and very much as hacker-proof as they can be. All right, let's dive right in and make a multiplayer game together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Roya's Dev Networking Learning Starter and either download the zip or clone this repo, which will just give us a baseline for our project. And then you will open this project in Godot. Okay, now that we have the project open in Godot, I'm just gonna run it to test that everything works. And as you can see, we just have a very little simple game of this girl walking around, following where you click, and that's about it. So to just get some things started here, let's go to the character body and do the networking in here for now, and then we'll move stuff out of it later. This is just to get everything going. Okay, so now we're just going to go and do a var here, and we're going to call this multiplayer here, and we'll set this equal to enet multiplayer peer dot new. Okay, and then we are going to go and get some command line args. So first off, what we're going to do is we're just going to determine the server through some command line args that e each client will launch with. So we'll go var args is equal to a pack string array, and we'll set that equal to os.get underscore command line args. Okay, then we'll say if args.has server, then we will make a function called create server. So we'll just say create server, and then else we will connect client. Okay, now let's go make these functions. So the first function will be the create server. So we'll go funk underscore create server, and that won't take in any arguments. And we will go multiplayer peer dot create server. And then we will type in a port and let's just use nine, 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 four nines for now. We will make this changeable later but for this moment we'll just do, use this number and then we'll go multiplayer which is just a property of any node in godot and then we'll go multiplayer peer is equal to multiplayer peer perfect so we've created our server we've added it to the multiplayer peer here and go multiplayer dot here connected dot connect and we're going to make this function in a second actually let's make it right now we'll go function on peer connected and this will take in a peer id and this will be of type int and then we will just say print here with id connected and then pass in the peer id okay so we'll just connect this function right here and we will now go and make the uh connect clients function so we'll go funk uh, net client and this won't take in any arguments either and it's going to go multiplayer peer again and we'll go create client and then this will take in a uh, ip address and a port so the ip address we'll just do the local ip address of 127.0.0.1 and then we'll put in the same port of four nines then we'll do the same thing of setting the multiplayer dot multiplayer peer equal to multiplayer peer. So let's do that. Multiplayer dot multiplayer peer is equal to multiplayer peer. Simple. And we will do another function or another signal connection down here. So multiplayer peer dot connect. Oh, I think it's on connected. Connected to server dot connect. And we'll make this function down here just below this on peer connected. And we'll go function 
dot on connected to server. And this we won't take in any arguments and we'll just say print by connected to the server. Okay, so now let's just test this and put in these functions. So create the server, put that here, and then create the client. Let's put this here. Okay, now let me show you a little trick in Godel. Oh, wait, whoops, I forgot to put this in here. On connected to server, paste that here. Let me try show you a little trick that's really nice for multiplayer in Godel. So you can go up to debug here, customize run instances, and you can enable multiple run instances. You can set this to any number that you want. So I'm going to enable these two. And then I'm going to do a launch argument for this first one called server so that it knows that it's the server. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click the play button. I've connected to the server. Peer ID with blah, 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 connected. Perfect. So everything's working right now. We can still move around. But as you can see, there's the other one. There it is. Nothing's happening when I move on the server. The client stays still. So let's go and fix that right now. Okay, let's go back to our script. And you can see that I've got this set movement target. Well, we can turn this into an RPC. You don't need to worry about too much of this yet. I'm just doing this to get you up and running. I'll explain all of this down the road, don't worry. So we'll turn this into an RPC, RPC. And then we'll give this the legs, any peer. And then we'll do call local. And we will also do unreliable unreliable okay there we go and so down here don't worry too much about this code um all i've done to get this code for the most part is i took it off the um pathbinding godot uh wiki and that's all i'm using pretty much with a few small changes so now we we're calling the set movement target we'll just switch this to dot rpc and there we go save that let's go back to godot and run and there we go. We see that when we move on the server, the client moves with us. All right, so that's all for this episode. Next episode, we'll get into making a network manager, a proper one that's not part of the um, character body script. So stay tuned for that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.